So a lot of the questions that I see in the conversations that I have in clinic are related to the relationship between the vagus nerve and what happens with POTS or different types of dysautonomias. And it's a really good question because the vagus nerve is really important, how we control the heart, how we control the rate of activity of the SA node. So when we think about POTS, the big thing that comes to mind is the idea that we're having tachycardia. The heart rate is increasing in its rate. The vagus nerve typically comes down from the nucleus ambiguous and it slows the heart rate down. So when you look at a newborn, for example, a newborn's heartbeat is really fast. It's usually somewhere between 100 and 120 beats per minute. We use that vagus nerve to actually start to act as like a braking system for your heart. So it actually slows your heart down. That's why as you develop, your heart rate starts to slow down as well. What we notice in people that have brain injuries is actually if they start to lose some of that firing rate, that heart rate can start to drift up just purely on the fact that we're, that's not getting the normal inhibition in the brainstem.